hey planner buddy hey guys welcome back to another video today i'm doing my february monthly spread i'm super excited for this month and the spread because i'm doing disney stickers and you know that i love a good disney spread so um and it's also valentine's day so i'm gonna do a whole um monthly theme which i don't usually do for valentine's day but i'm really feeling it this year um but anyways i'm trying to get a little more creative a little more crafty so i'm using a uh, regular old like school paper it's been like forever since i've seen this and i still had like a couple sheets laying around so i ripped up some and i'm going to glue it all down um on the side of the uh spread and uh, don't worry, this doesn't stay purple. Um, and I'm going to be doing this very thoroughly because I do not want any of this to uh, lift up. And then I'll just be cutting the extra uh, once I have it placed exactly where I want. Um, and I'm also thinking of putting some somewhere else, but I wasn't exactly sure. Um, so I just played around a little bit. And I'm thinking of putting it on the bottom, actually like horizontal, even though the lines won't be going the same. Um, I think that will look pretty cool. So yeah, I'm just going to be ripping it um, on the bottom and then uh, gluing it down the same way that I did the previous one. Um, I, I ran out of um, my Tombow tape runner, which is why I have to use glue stick, but I think glue stick is good for like scrapbook paper because you can get the corners and the edges, um, which is something that I don't usually get with my um, Tombow. But I feel like the Tombow glue is much um, better, but I don't know. So I, I don't know. I have to get some more of that one um, as well. So I'm just making sure. And then, of course, I have to cut out the holes. Um, I did that off camera just so you guys didn't have to watch all that. Um, so here is my first stickers. I was super inspired. Actually, they kind of inspired um, this whole spread. Um, these little, they look like pictures of Mickey and Minnie. I thought they were just so cute. So I just put them in the corners. Uh, I just love them. And then I also found these little, like, um, cl uh, not close pins, these little tacks. I guess that's what they're called. These little pins um, that I've had forever that I've always wanted to use in a spread and, like, do something like this. So I put one, you know, like, if they're both pictures um, and they're smiling and they're in love, it's just so cute. I just, I'm obsessed with it. So I just also put down some um functional boxes for like all my bills um these two little flags are for um paintings i also was super inspired by this little pen that i found it was like um on the same page as these little tags i can't remember what sticker book these are from i want to say it's like and it's a really old sticker book like a color story maybe um but i thought that the pen would look really cute since it has to do with like um the letters and the like notebook paper i think it's like super cute like he's writing her a, like a little love letter since in the disney sticker book there was this little um letter that said mini um and i just thought that was super cute so here i'm just adding some more little small letters and um different hearts um from different sticker books um just to add like more interest and like different uh layers to the spread so i'm just adding um, all those little details and now i'm moving on to more functional boxes and i decided to um, not write in valentine's day by myself um, i had these like quotes also and one said love is in the air and i thought it would um, be cute for this spread um, it's like more pink but i don't think you can really tell like when it's placed to, um, next to all the red so um, i just left it like that and i just think that this corner is just super super cute and i really love it Next, I'm adding some more functional boxes. It's really hard to find red, so I grabbed these from the rainbow sticker book that are like for counting steps. So I just had to wipe that part out. And then I had to go into the teacher sticker book to find other red boxes. It's crazy um, that that happy flyer doesn't really have like a lot of red boxes. Um, and like not the same, cause like all these reds are different, but um, it'll do for now. I'm um, just adding some more like bigger ones and then some smaller ones for other things that I need. Um, this is like kind of a boxy spread. I just have like a lot of things that I want to note um, this month. So um, sometimes it is what it is. That's just what happens. So I'm also trying to balance out like between the red and the black. It's kind of harder to balance out the colors when you only have two. But um, I made it work. It's okay. It doesn't bother me too much if there's like too much of one color in one space. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just adding some more little hearts. And moving on to some washi tape. This is the polka dot washi tape that I 
um, made by printing it out on sticker paper. But actually, you guys, I found, well, I think that I found this washi tape on a store and i have ordered some i'm just waiting for it to come i'm like super um excited and i like check my mailbox every day because i want it to get here already um and if it is what i think it is which is this washi tape i will be so so happy and definitely going to be ordering more um yeah i'm just super excited about the washi tape but i will let you guys know like over on my instagram when i get that so uh yeah just follow me if you need updates on that washi tape so now i am just writing or drawing dots um kind of signaling that the um, pen wrote the letter and this is like the trail that it's gone through to get to mini um and it's almost there um i just thought it was just super super cute um and i just really love it and um now i'm adding some little polka dots something that i've like loved to do on spreads lately so i'm just adding like a bunch of little polka dots everywhere um just to give more like detail and like fill in some spots i don't know just to make it like more like magical that's what these little things remind me of but yeah this is pretty much it for my spread i am obsessed with how this turned out i love it i just i think disney spreads are just my favorite to do honestly um yeah so this is the final look of my spread let me know what you guys think i really love it and i'm super excited i'm also going to be doing i think a another valentine's theme with mickey and minnie because they're just like the ultimate couple goals um that'll probably be like valentine's week but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you guys so much for all your support and i will see you in the next one bye